Good morning, and welcome to SGAC Japan Space Talk. The goal of this weekly webinar series is to spark the conversation about space amongst students and young professionals during quarantine. Today, we welcome Mr. Yasunori Yamazaki, the Chief Business Officer of Axel Space. He will be talking to us about satellite business. Yasu, thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for uh, inviting me. Taka. Okay, so Sam and I will talk to you in the first 30 minutes, and we will spend the other uh, half hour on Q&A. So if you, the viewers, uh, have questions or comments, please write them in the comments section. And feel free to leave them during our, the first half hour as well. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, first, Yasu, could you give us a brief self-introduction? Sure. Um, <clears throat> so my name is Yasu. I'm the uh, Chief Business Officer of Axel Space. Um, essentially, I'm responsible uh, for everything um, related to the business of our company, Axel Space. And together with uh, <clears throat> the other CXOs, um, I run a, we run a company of roughly 80 people uh, representing from uh, roughly 20 different countries. Okay, um, so without further ado, can you explain your upbringing? Uh, in the profile, you mentioned that uh, you worked in the financial sector for some time. Sure, um, happy to. So um, I grew up um, um, mostly outside of Japan um, and uh, spent many of my years uh, living in New York. Um, and that uh, had a... Uh, I, I would say a huge impact on, on the way I view the world. So as many of you probably know, uh, New York is a gyro of cultures and um, also it's a aspirational place. People from all over the world uh, aspire to uh, go to New York and um, achieve what they want to um, um, uh, uh, achieve there and 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 so it, it's 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 a it's a it's truly a cosmopolitan uh, city uh, where uh, uh, talents from uh, the global community uh, gather and and so uh, seeing that uh, um, exciting uh, uh, community from a very young age uh, I I had always uh, envisioned myself to be part of that excitement and, and so that has impacted me a lot, and one of the aspiration uh, I I had uh, since I was very young uh, was to be to make an impact, uh, a positive impact, and 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 change the world. So uh, that has been the defining sort of uh, 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 I would say guideline or or the true north for me uh, uh, ever since I was quite young, and and so. Uh, I, I started my career in the advertising world. Uh, why? Because I felt at that time when I was very young that advertising or the communication business uh, can, can uh, help uh, uh, drive um, impact and, and, and uh, uh, contribute to the society in an in, 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 in exciting way. Um, and that, that experience led me to um, uh, working in the finance industry naturally because I grew up in New York, uh, the financial capital of the world. Um, so working in investment bank, um, I was focused on uh, hopefully to contribute to channeling the funds where I felt was uh, uh, needed or, or should be uh, channeled. And, and, and then uh, accidentally, I stumbled, in, stumbled uh, into the world of uh, 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 space business, uh, really by accident. Um, and and uh, I, I've been in the space business uh, ever since. Uh, so I've been in the business for now uh, six years, more than six years now. Have you always had an interest in space growing up or was that something that you discovered uh, as your career went on? Yeah, so um, probably I'm gonna disappoint some of you, um, but uh, I'm not one of those kids. 
I was not one of those kids uh, dreaming of becoming an astronaut or, or, or watching, you know, Star Trek or uh, Star Wars and wanting to someday be in the space industry. Um, as I mentioned, it was accidental that I discovered uh, the world of space and space business. And the reason why I wanted to join or, or, or the reason I thought um, I should join is because I felt uh, the industry needed someone with a business acumen. So um, there are many people uh, uh, in the <clears throat> uh, engineering world that aspire to become a, a part of this community. But in order for this community to become uh, part of the industry, I, I, I felt that they need you know business person so I, I, I joined this industry uh, to contribute to the business side of this uh, amazing uh, uh, industry and also I felt that uh, our business can create a, a great impact uh, to the society and change the world right uh, so <clears throat> can you talk uh, more deeply about what Axel space does as a company sure happy to um, do you want me to share a slide uh, please. Sure. Um, okay. So, can you disable the screen sharing thing? Just a minute, please. Sure. Could you try it now? Yeah. Okay. Um, you see the Axel Space logo? Yes. Fantastic. So, <clears throat> um, I guess uh, before diving into the uh, uh, Axel Space, uh, I'd like to share my sort of philosophy or, or my um, thinking uh, process. So, I, 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 I'm really inspired by Albert Einstein uh, uh, quote, uh, anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. So uh, this is really my sort of guiding principle in doing anything. So I'm not afraid to make any mistake. And uh, I also want my team, my uh, uh, members to be not afraid of uh, making mistakes because I, I think uh, success is a, a product of uh, 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 many mistakes. Um, <clears throat> And uh, the other thing I'm very uh, passionate about is to be uh, the true innovator of anything. So uh, why am I showing this picture? Um, by the way, Taka, you're young, super young. Do you know what this is? Yes, it's a, it's a phone. So you're not, you're not that young then? <laughs> I've seen one before. You've seen one before? Okay, so you're not like super young then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know why I say that? Because some people actually uh, in this uh, in, 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 in this uh, digital uh, year of 2020, uh, people get confused what this is, you know, and, and this is obviously a phone. And why am I showing this? Because it's actually strike, striking to know that the people who have been uh, working to, to develop this phone is not really the guy guys who actually made this amazing you know uh smartphone mm -hmm. and and yeah it's not so surprising but for me it's a surprise because these guys uh were supposed to be an expert and they knew everything about the phone um but for some reason they were not the inventor of this so why am i trying to say what am i trying to say here is that Myself and also Axel Space, we're always trying to uh, challenge the status quo and, and, and try to look at things from different perspective in a, in a true sense. So uh, rather than being this, we want to be the guys who invented this. So 
Having said that, who are we? So we are essentially uh, uh, a pa group of passionate people who believe in the power of uh, microsatellite uh, to change the world. And um, we, are, we, we have been around for 10 years now, and that led us to have a beautiful building in the middle of uh, Tokyo. And uh, yes, we have amazing office, a uh, very comfortable place to uh, work. And it is powered by uh, more than 80 people representing from uh, 20 different countries. So uh, we're based in Tokyo, but uh, our, our common uh, language is uh, English. So um, <clears throat> we're very proud uh, to, to say that uh, Axel Space is an environment where, which uh, welcomes uh, uh, truly a global talent uh, to, 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 to work on amazing projects. And uh, I'm also happy to say that Taka was a very good intern at our company before. Thank you, it was a really great experience there. <laughs> so uh, what have we been doing? So our track record. Uh, I wanna share you some, some of the uh, projects that we have been doing. So one of the projects uh, that we are very proud of is uh, Weather News Project. So, uh, so far we have been providing them with two uh, satellites uh, to monitor the Arctic Ocean, uh, not to save the polar bears, but to help them provide uh, decision-making uh, information to the shipping companies. So, a um, lot of shipping companies uh, uh, go from Japan to uh, Western Europe uh, because this is one of the most lucrative and important uh, trade routes. Um, but because of the iceberg uh, in north, uh, uh, the normal way to go is through the southern route. And it will be around 20,000 kilometers um, if you take the normal route. But, but <clears throat> if, if we were to save uh, 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 fossil fuel, burning fossil fuel, by going, finding a shorter route, it will, be the, it will be the obvious choice to go from the north except there's a danger of the uh, iceberg. So uh, together with the uh, uh, weather news, uh, we've been uh, working on, on trying to find a uh, solution for the uh, shipping companies to navigate uh, safely uh, through the uh, very dangerous uh, waters in the north by, by uh, providing, uh, providing uh, visuals from the satellites. The other exciting project uh, we like to share uh, this morning is also, uh, this is very, very exciting for us, uh, a project that we have done for uh, JAXA. And uh, here we are uh, 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 showcasing the uh, Rapis uh, One satellite, which is a 200 kilogram, quite big for a startup. Uh, satellite, as you can compare it from the, uh, the engineers uh, that are working on, on, on this. Um, so we have designed, built, and operate, have been operating the satellite. Uh, this is in, uh, in situ, meaning uh, in-orbit uh, uh, demonstration uh, satellite, in-orbit uh, technology demonstration satellite. So we have been doing uh, amazing work uh, so far, but uh, we have a, actually a, a bigger vision. So, you know, we, we've been working on the, uh, building satellites, very exciting, um, but we felt that that's not it, you know? Um, and, and, and so we decided that we need to do something, something else, because truly we want to empower anyone with actionable data uh, to help them make informed decisions. And, and, and this, this is you know, one of our vision and, and uh, the satellites that we've been building has been uh, helping people uh, doing that, but helping people with a lot of money. And we felt, wait a minute, you know, our vision, the founding vision is space within your reach, which means that we should be catering to people that don't have that much money also, right? So uh, that much money, meaning money to buy satellites. So even with, people who don't have you know, enough resources to buy their own satellite, we should try to cater to them. So what we decided to do was actually to launch our own satellites, uh, paid for by ourselves, 
uh, to let people uh, use the satellite whenever they want, whenever, uh, wherever they want. So it's almost like, you know, uh, you don't need to own a car now because there's a sharing uh, service, right? Car sharing service. So whenever you need a car, uh, you can use a car sharing service. And uh, this is the same concept. You now don't need to own a, you know, now you don't need to own a satellite. You just use our satellites uh, orbiting around our uh, planet. And uh, using our satellites, uh, you can uh, visualize the uh, area of interest uh, whenever you want, wherever you want, with, with a fraction of the cost of uh, owning your own satellite. So, um, so we decided to do this, and then we gathered together, you know, happily uh, figuring out what we should be doing, you know, um, and then uh, designed the next generation satellite. Uh, called Gurus. So this is the actual uh, uh, satellite that we launched. Uh, it's a 100 kilogram satellite um, uh, capable of visualizing our planet at 2.5 meter uh, uh, ground resolution. And uh, what's exciting about this is uh, we, uh, we together uh, developed a, a web-based platform so that not only you don't need to have the resource to buy the uh, satellite, but you also don't need a technical background in, in the uh, sat, uh, satellite imagery uh, data. Essentially, if you know the word select and click, uh, you'll be able to uh, easily download uh, commercially viable uh, decision-making uh, data from our platform, uh, which looks like this. So again, click. Uh, select, click, and then you can download an amazing image like this. So uh, this is an image of uh, um, uh, Haneda Airport. Um, and just in case, uh, Taka, you're wondering how long this is going to take, uh, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm just going to share a little more example and then I'm stop. Okay? Okay. That's fine. Um, so uh, one of the usage case for uh, the agri uh, one of the usage case for our our data is uh, the agriculture industry. So this is a real image from our uh, Axel Globe uh, um, system. We are able to uh, identify uh, each different uh, um, plots, and then and then what we can do is I'm going to try to skip a little bit, and 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 essentially we are able to sort of see the health, um, healthiness of the crops or the growth stage of the crops, individual crops. So I'm not going to go into details this morning, but uh, what I want you to see is that using the uh, raw image of this, uh, we can actually work on to create a um, uh, monitoring system to see the uh, healthiness of the crops. I'm going to stop here uh, because um, I want to see what, what's going on in your head, uh, Tapa. Okay, so uh, thank you for the introduction about uh, what Axel Space does and especially about Axel Globe. So Axel Space has been developing satellites for uh, commercial and uh, government sectors, but recently you've been developing a constellation platform. And I want to talk a little bit uh, more deeply about that. And it's really important to mention that Axel, the uh, Axel Globe platform is really an easy to use platform since I've seen other online platforms that do this uh, similar kind of services, but they only po post raw images, which you have to uh, render and uh, process yourself. Uh, whereas Axel Globe, you would have those images ready to go. Um, so, how often do you take images of the um, entire Earth uh, using Axel Globe? Sure. Um, <clears throat> uh, uh, thanks so much. Um, so now we have uh, one uh, Guru satellite uh, in orbit, and uh, with one satellite, uh, we are taking every uh, roughly every uh, uh, two weeks. Um, this year, we're going to be launching uh, four additional um, Guru satellites and the next generation satellite. And then that will hopefully uh, allow us to take um, every three days. So that's going to be uh, very exciting uh, for us. Right. So, and the uh, final goal is to take images every day. 
is, is that correct? That's correct. So um, uh, uh, our first, first challenge is to upgrade to every three days. And then uh, the next challenge will be to cover um, every day. Um, and uh, are the images, um, uh, what type of bandwidth are the images being taken? Yeah, so um, uh, one, of, one of the, uh, one of the uh, impacts we want to create is uh, to the farming community. Uh, why is because if you look at the uh, total population of the world, uh, you know, I don't know if it's surprising or not, but most of us are actually uh, farmers or uh, working in a uh, agri-related uh, industry. Um, and, and so if you are able to uh, bring innovation to the agri uh, uh, sector, you can essentially ch uh, change the world. So we created our, our system uh, so that we can uh, uh, truly give um, uh, impactful data to them. And, and, and to do that, we decided to uh, uh, focus on uh, um, uh, spectral band, uh, which is R uh, five spectral band, which is RGB, uh, near infrared, um, tank, uh, uh, red edge band, and uh, <clears throat> and uh, we also provide a uh, panchromatic data. Now, uh, the the images that I showed you earlier to monitor the uh, uh, healthiness of the crop. Uh, that's done uh, using the uh, near infrared and the red edge band. Right. So using the near infrared um, bandwidth, you could monitor more than just what you see visually, right? Um, so what are the sort of industries that you think would uh, best impact uh, with Axel Globe? Sure. So. Um, uh, Essentially, what we are able to do is uh, 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 vegetation monitoring. So monitoring of anything that's uh, uh, <clears throat> um, uh, anything that uh, uh, can anything that uh, has a digital chlorophyll. So by by uh, monitoring the digital chlorophyll, we're we're able to uh, see the healthiness of the uh, um, the target object. Uh, and, and so anything that has the digital chlorophyll, we, we are able to uh, be, we are essentially able to monitor the healthiness. So one of the application is to uh, provide valuable data to the uh, farmers uh, to maybe uh, maximize their yields or, or reduce the uh, 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 pesticides that they have to uh, uh, spread. But the other application, well, there are so many applications and one of the uh, uh, exciting application is to also see the impact of the uh, uh, um, activities, human activities on on the uh, the natural environment. So, what am I what am I talking about? Let's talk about uh, um, let's say mining industry, for example. So, if you, if you think about mining industry, you know it, it's evil and and and, and probably. Uh, um, you know, bad for the environment, but really it's not. I mean, they are essential to, to, to our modern society and we need to, uh, you know, we need to thank them for providing us uh, those, re uh, you know, commodities. Uh, but at the same time, we need to help them to make sure that they are able to uh, uh, do their activities uh, with minimal damage to, to the environment. And, and by offering our service to uh, the mining industries, we can help them uh, uh, monitor the uh, mines uh, to 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 uh, essentially check, you know, the impact of of their activities on the surrounding environment uh, efficiently and effectively. That's an interesting way to approach the mining industry um, to really benefit them for the better good. Um, what is the resolution of the Axel Globe platform or the, uh, of the Goose satellites? Yeah, so uh, we're able to uh, capture at uh, 2.5 meter resolution, uh, which allows you to uh, see, uh, uh, let's say, um, um, let me go back to you know, um, what I showed you. Uh, let's say uh, you can see the, uh, uh, 
airplanes on, on, on the runway, for example, clearly. No, you cannot see people. Uh, so this is not like, you know, one of those movie, Hollywood movie, where it kind of zooms in and you can see the activities of the people, you know, shooting or, or I don't know. <laughs> so that, that's not the purpose of uh, Axel's, uh, Axel Globe. Um, in fact, uh, one of the advantage of uh, our system is that we have a very wide swath. So the, uh, the uh, width of, of our capture is uh, roughly 57 kilometers. So with one shot, uh, we're able to capture one, uh, 57 kilometers uh, on the width and 1,000 kilometers on the uh, vertical side. So we have a huge uh, capture capability. Um, and that's, that's the advantage of having a satellite uh, to monitor the uh, Earth. Okay, uh, so we're approaching the 30 minute mark. So I'll uh, start uh, wrapping up. Um, I want to talk more business about Axel Space and uh, the satellite industry as a whole. Um, from your eyes, where do you see, uh, in terms of countries or regions, where do you see the biggest opportunities for satellite imagery? Yeah, so um, we don't actually, uh, uh, um, we, we don't actually define by region, but we really uh, define by sector. So which sector can benefit? And uh, as again, uh, again, you know, uh, we feel the agri industry is probably one of the most beneficial beneficiary of, of our system. Um, and, and when you talk about agri-industry, uh, essentially we're talking about the entire world, um, not just the uh, economically advanced nations, but also uh, fast growing uh, countries uh, in Southeast Asia or, 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 or countries in Africa and uh, Latin America. So. Our playing field, if you will, is uh, 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 global. And uh, in fact, uh, let me actually show you um, some of the images, um, you know, uh, and, and, and share with you our business approach. Is that something of your interest, Taka? Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay, so um, let me give you my secret recipe to be successful. And by the way, the reason why I uh, uh, doing this uh, this morning is is uh, I'm very happy to say that uh, um, I'm lucky and the company is lucky to be successful and I want to pass on to the next generation uh, why you know pass on and share why you know we are successful so that you can go and change the world um, when I was younger uh, somebody you know helped me to uh, to 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 you know, uh, 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 share with me their wisdom. So now I want to be the one uh, sharing my um, uh, passion and, and, and the knowledge that I have uh, acquired through my experience. So, so let me share you um, my business approach, uh, my secret recipe. So one very important rule. Deep dive to understand the client needs. Well, nothing special, right? If you open up uh, MBA uh, textbook 101, this is like, yeah, it's all over. Well, I would say that, yes, you read it, but most people don't execute. Now, I truly execute this. And if you are able to do this, you can actually get business. So. One time I was thinking, okay, we should be doing something in the mining industry. And most people would start by Googling and maybe talking to experts, maybe. But not many people actually will fly 36 hours to go to the actual mine and see what it is to monitor a mine, <laughs> right? So here I am. Uh, in um, Chile, uh, <clears throat> observing what open pit mine is uh, and, and see uh, actually how dangerous it is. Dangerous it is. 
So uh, by going here, I was talking to, I, I, I spoke to the, the workers there and, uh, and truly understood uh, the needs of uh, monitoring the, uh, the open um, minds. And I, what I didn't know, I, so before I went, I had no idea what we can do. And what I discovered was uh, people were actually afraid of landslides in, in these open, open mines, right? So below, behind me here is a three kilometer drop down to the bottom, right? And there are people working at the bottom and, and, and uh, they're always in danger of uh, uh, landslide because these uh, walls are fragile. And, and so, you know, they are trying to figure out how to uh, uh, monitor and uh, avoid those uh, landslides. And uh, I didn't know. I mean, and, and when, I, when you go there, you, you feel the danger, right? It's, you see it for yourself. Now, again, um, one time I was drinking tequila and I felt like, oh, wait a minute. Where is this tequila coming from? And maybe uh, we can do something with the, you know, the tequila uh, farmers. And 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 so, uh, you know, I I was look, I was thinking, okay, what's tequila? Oh, it's 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 made out of this thing called agave. And 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 and, and you know, uh, of course, you know, now you know, I flew to Mexico, uh, to, first to Mexico City, and then. Uh, took another flight to Guadalajara and then took another uh, three hour drive to uh, a town tequila and 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 and, and, and try to uh, learn what you know tequila farming is all about so again this is a, a real example of me trying to understand what's going on uh, uh, in, in, in the true sense and you know understand what the real needs of the of the of the user a potential user rather so, you know, uh, <clears throat> if you are able to do this, and now many people do this, I know for a fact, you can actually uh, 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 get business. And let me give you another secret. This goes against of the teachings, because in, in MBA, you're taught how to be efficient. So next time, Taka, you open up a textbook and says, be efficient, just scrap it. And remember this, don't seek efficiency in communication. So now, in, in the, now we have this amazing tool called Zoom. So you know, some people argue that, oh, you no longer you need, you, you, you need to fly to meet people. Wrong, because there's never uh, I mean, there's no replacement for uh, a true communication. So uh, I don't seek efficiency in communication. Rather, I invest in, in, in time and money for communication. So last year, uh, you know, uh, I spent uh, many, many of my time uh, and hours to uh, uh, many of my uh, uh, time and, 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 and resource to, to go to Rwanda, Africa. Uh, so far, right? It's so far. Uh, it's one of the, you know, farthest place, you know, that you can uh, get to. Um, and, 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 and so, but I, I went multiple times and had a lot of discussions uh, with this guy and also with this lady. By the way, this lady is a, a minister of uh, uh, ICT. So very, very important person. Um, and, and, and uh, you know, I, I was there uh, 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 preaching to them, you know, the power of uh, using satellite imagery data. And uh, that actually uh, proved to be successful because now, uh, you know, th these uh, happy people that you see uh, 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 decide to do a project uh, together. So, um, invest in uh, communication, don't seek efficiency in communication. Uh, yeah, it sounds normal, nothing special, but I can tell you these two things, I'm just gonna be uh, sharing you two things this morning. If you wanna, need, you wanna learn more, you need to pay me 20,000 US dollar. 
<laughs> for consulting fees. <laughs> yeah, for fee. Um, but uh, nothing special, nothing normal. I mean, nothing uh, uh, surprising. But if you can truly do this, you'll get uh, business. I'll stop here. All right. Thank you. Thank you for your uh, secret recipes. Diving deep into the client's needs and uh, don't see efficiency. Actually talk to your customers and really hear them out. Okay. So thank you for an exciting uh, talk session. We would like to move on to the Q&A. So I'll read out the questions and uh, Yasu, could you answer them? Okay, so let's get to the first one. Uh, what are the most common business models you have seen among competitors of Earth observation data? Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, can, I, can I say this? You know, and I'm afraid that maybe our investors are listening, but in a true sense, I don't really care what our competitors are doing because I care about my customers. And <clears throat> um, I feel our job is to make our customer happy and not really care about what our competitors are doing. In fact, I'm happy if they're you know, uh, successful as well. I'm not fighting with them actually. I, I'm fighting to make our customer happy. But having said that, um, uh, I think, to be honest, traditionally speaking, our industry uh, was catering to the governments. Um, and, and so many of our competitors are focused on uh, providing services to governments um, and the intelligence community. Uh, are the traditional or the co uh, common business models, are they selling like image, like image by image or are they on a subscription basis? Oh, um, I would say most of them are selling uh, uh, you know, image I images, uh, not not subscription. So, um, which which is in our case, uh, it's a subscription based model to try to drive down the cost and also to provide more uh, uh, relevant uh, service to to our customers. Right. Okay, uh, what kind of obstacles do your, does your company face in legal aspects? Legal aspects, wow. This is your territory, isn't it? You like legal stuff, Taka, no? Not really, no. Um, legal aspects. Um, well, <clears throat> mm, honestly speaking, I, I don't, I don't feel any obstacle, uh, true obstacle uh, that, that we face or, or we are limited by any legal uh, uh, boundaries. Of course, there's, you know, um, uh, regulatory uh, framework uh, for, for the space community as well as individual countries, but I, I don't see any, anything that's, that can be an obstacle for us. So launching a satellite, you just have to get approval by the, by the launching country, I guess, right? Um, <clears throat> it's a, well, you need to get mul multiple um, uh, approvals, you know, including uh, your own country. What about the images? Like, for example, I don't know if I can talk about this, but hmm. when you take a picture of like North Korea, are you allowed to sell that? Um, so, <clears throat> um, let me, uh, let me answer in, in this way, um, cause I'm sure uh, a lot of people are interested in this topic. So, uh, there, there is a specific guideline, um, uh, for, uh, for, for each country and Japan has us, Japan has its own guideline in terms of, uh, remote sensing, uh, and, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to make it very simple. Uh, I'm going to simplify. So our resolution of 2.5 meter uh, allows us to uh, take anywhere in the world uh, without any restrictions. Okay, thank you. Um, next question. Hope there, these satellites are not creating more light pollution 
or astronomers like Starlink satellites, isn't it? Light pollutions, wow, that's new. Um, we, we used to talk about space debris, but now it's a light pollution. Um, uh, I don't think so. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, right now it's, you know, um, uh, right now we only have one satellite and we're planning to launch four um, this year. Uh, <clears throat> and, 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 uh, I, I, I don't, I don't, well, I, I wish I can see our satellite from our, from the ground, actually. But I don't think it's, it's going to be an issue. Um, and of course, if it becomes an issue, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, uh, we'll be, uh, uh, uh dealing with, um, you know, minim minimizing the impact. Right. I think Starlink, you can see the light, um, with your, uh, with your eyes from the ground. Mm -hmm. which is the problem, but I think for uh, actual space satellites, you cannot see them uh, with your naked eyes, nor can you see them with telescopes. Um, like I said, I wish we can see. I want to <laughs> see our baby <laughs> right. uh, from the ground. Right. So I think uh, light pollution is not an issue. Okay, um, next question. Are you planning to provide maritime domain awareness service? Um... In, I, I, I'm not sure what the question is asking for. Um, so is it talking about uh, capturing the uh, transponders uh, signal or does, does it have a specific? I'm not sure. Uh, if you could elaborate, can you leave comments uh, on maritime domain? Is that like ships or is it life forms? Yeah. Oh, we'll wait for the further comments and we'll get back to you on that. Sure, sure. Okay, next question. What was the initial investment to set up Axel Space from the beginning? Uh, what, I, what we can share is that we were so poor. We were students, right? Uh, <laughs> so not much. Anybody can start. You know, it's, it's actually not, the hurdle is not starting. It's continuing. Because when you start a new company or when you start uh, a challenging business like space business, every day you face problem. And you know, guess what? Uh, so first, at the beginning, it's, it's about you know, not having enough resource, right? And then the, 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 uh, the challenge uh, changes. Uh, as the company grows um, from 10, to 20, to 50, and now we have 80, right? So the, the issue multiplies it. So now we have, you know, um, we have the problem or the challenge of managing a company of 80 people. Uh, that's another challenge. So anybody can start. I mean, you know, we didn't, we didn't, we, we were not Elon Musk. I mean, we didn't say sell PayPal. Uh, to fund this company. Uh, so anybody can start. It's just the persistence that uh, allowed us to survive uh, and come this far. Right, okay, uh, we have the additional questions uh, about maritime domain. So yeah. uh, maritime domain awareness is tracking ships, detecting ships entering restricted waters, uh, mm -hmm. illegal fishing, etc. Okay, okay. Um, so, um, we don't discriminate any projects uh, as long as it's going to create a positive impact uh, to to humanity. And if it if if uh, detecting ships uh, uh, or boats uh, can contribute to that, uh, we're more than uh, you know happy to uh, contribute. Um, and there are people actually asking us to help them in this field, and we're exploring uh, how to uh, provide that. Okay, uh, next question. How to get remote internship programs in Axel Space? You just contact me or Taka. Yeah, so you can contact either myself or Yasu. Uh, you can search um, Yasunori Yamazaki on Facebook, LinkedIn, or 
uh, you can search for me, Takashibara, on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Uh, we're on every social media. So yeah, feel free to contact us. Yeah, you can contact me directly. Don't be afraid. I'm open to talking to anyone. Okay, uh, next one. Hello, everyone. Thank you for the interesting presentation. I'm interested in applying for an internship at in Axel Space. Is there an opportunity for internships during the current situation, or what is the procedure for that? So, again, uh, email Yasu or myself. Can I, can I excite you guys all? Aspire Please. to a young generation. At this difficult time, we're not firing we're hiring and we're protecting our current employees and um and uh also helping them to cope with the remote situation so we even gave them a special bonus so that they can prepare to do a remote boat, uh, work because you know you you need to have a proper wi-fi set up or maybe you know, uh, a comfortable chair or something so Yes, I know the world is in a difficult situation, but in this, this difficult situation, we're not firing, we're hiring, we're protecting our, our current employees. So yes, uh, we're still open uh, uh, to hire. We're still, still open to uh, provide opportunities to anyone uh, interested in access space. That's wonderful. Um, how do you compete against other companies with the same offerings? There are many out there. Um, so again, you know, um, uh, it's so natural to, to uh, have this question, but uh, personally speaking, I'm not so concerned about other people. Um, in fact, I want you know, them to be successful as well. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it might be a boring answer, uh, but I really focus on uh, making sure our customers are happy and, uh, um, um, and also offer them, you know, um, uh, 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 amazing service. Um, <clears throat> so because we're talking about, uh, we're, because we're in a domain of, you know, uh, domain that requires technical expertise, it, it, there's a tendency to focus on providing, you know, better data or, you know, um, I don't know, uh, uh, better, uh, better quality and, and so forth. But just think of it from your perspective, whenever you uh, buy or subscribe to any service, is it only the specs that you look for? Probably not, right? you probably subscribe or buy product because you like the company, you love the company, or you, you, you like the service, you know? Um, uh, so the business, the, the art of business is not very simple. It's not about providing better uh, product or better service. There's a human touch to that. And this is, this, this intangible uh, value is what probably uh, differentiates Axel space from other, uh, other um, uh, companies in, in our industry. Right. Okay. Um, thank you for that. Um, next question. Is it possible to extract soil salinity and NPK from Axel Global Platform are, are, as these are important for agricultural development? Uh, can I be honest? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Uh, it's a very specific question. Soil salinity. Yeah. One thing I, I don't do is I don't pretend uh, that I know what I don't know. So honestly, I, I, I have no idea what that is. I'm happy to uh, uh, ask my engineers and get back to, get back to that question. Um, so sorry, I cannot answer. Um, but maybe Taka, you can uh, send me that question and uh, you can reply to that. Person. Okay, we'll do. And uh, just for the viewers, uh, I posted uh, Yasu's uh, LinkedIn profile on the chat. So if if any of you would like to uh, follow up with him afterwards, uh, you can feel free to do so. Yeah, that, um, that's actually a great idea. Maybe uh, the person who wants to ask that question, uh, just send me a, a chat on LinkedIn. 
and uh, I'll ask my engineers uh, to help me answer that question. Right. And uh, so I just got the question on how to connect with you and uh, I just answered that. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, could you talk about one early challenge you faced from a business perspective and how you addressed it? Sure. Um, well, you know, as I mentioned, every day is a challenge, so I, I have to pick up <laughs> pick one. <laughs> well, um, so I'll talk about Axel Space, right? Because today is about Axel Space. Um, um, hmm, this is difficult because there's so many problems, right? Every day is a problem. <laughs> Um, but I'll, I'll share you this. Um, so, uh, so we provide a web-based uh, service, and uh, our 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 um, uh, payment is based on subscription. Now, uh, in in our in in our industry, this is actually uh, quite radical. So. Uh, um, as we talked about earlier, uh, most of the time uh, you pay for picture, right? <clears throat> and and so uh, uh, I guess you know uh, when I said let's do subscription and um, let's do a fixed uh, you know uh, sort of unit of uh, area to sell by subscription, um, I I I. You know, I faced <laughs> a huge uh, 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 opposition and a, and a big question marks from, you know, everywhere, uh, inter internal as well as external. And, 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 and so uh, um, I guess, you know, um, uh, having to explain something that doesn't exist in the industry uh, was the biggest challenge for me. Uh, and, and, uh, I, I guess, um, I kept going because, um, in, in my past life in the advertising or the investment banking, uh, I, I was always a black sheep, you know, uh, bringing to the table something quite radical and new and, 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 and always had to face the challenge. Uh, to explain and and I also uh, uh, I'm also happy to share that uh, that that paid off uh, because in the end uh, if it's successful then you know people will actually uh, forget that they were opposed to that and you know uh, they appreciate that you brought up a new uh, idea so yeah so yeah um, uh, Bringing new idea to the table is is the challenge that I, I'm facing uh, all the time. Okay, uh, so we would like to make these two the last two questions. Sure. Um, one is, uh, does Axel Space have any platform to provide free data from their satellite to university or research purposes or joint research? Yeah, so uh, this this is a uh, this is a debate that uh, you know uh, we've been uh, having internally, um, and um, for now uh, we decided that we would have to uh, charge a fee, and um, uh, <clears throat> the reason is uh, uh, I want I want I want uh, the community to understand that. Uh, I understand the value of, of our data, and and what I what I find is that when whenever something is free, uh, the value of that anything is really not cherished, and uh, what I hope the community uh, uh, understands is that we are a successful company, but we are an eighty people small you know um, startup. Uh, tackling uh, a huge challenge in a very expensive uh, industry. So uh, we we hope that you know the academic uh, world uh, respects that and uh, 
and and hopefully contribute uh, uh, to 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 making uh, 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 radical change in our industry. Um, so so yeah, if 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 I may ask, you know, to to get uh, some respect on what we do. Uh, you know, we would have to uh, ask them for a, a fair fee. Um. Right, that's fair. Okay, uh, final question. Uh, global warming is obviously a huge issue right now. And do you envision Axel Space as having a part to play in combating it? Absolutely, uh, absolutely. This is one of my passion, creating a climate for change to uh, tackle many of the issues. Um, uh, that humanity uh, is is the reason, and and that's why I'm proudly wearing a SDG badge um, every day um, to to uh, the 17 goals uh, set by the United Nations uh, to to uh, uh, contribute as a person, uh, per contribute personally as well as as a as a company. So um, yes, so this is. This is uh, one territory uh, that uh, we feel strongly that we can contribute. And in fact, we have been uh, uh, sharing, you know, how we can contribute at different uh, uh, sustainable development goals uh, sessions uh, around the world. Sounds great. And uh, I look forward to seeing Axel Space contribute to not just the public and private sectors, but also to global warming and uh, those issues as well. Okay, so uh, thank you all for your questions and uh, thank you, Yasu, for your time. Um, we like to wrap up by um, saying a few things. Uh, one, uh, we, sub we wrote a uh, Google form in the comments. Uh, if you could, if the viewers could uh, write your feedback and uh, leave comments on what you like to hear from us about uh, topics, uh, speakers, etc., that would be great. And uh, the Space Generation URL. Uh, is our annual global conference uh, called the Space Gen United. It will be hosted from uh, July 18th to 26th. And this year it will be uh, held online. So anybody can join from uh, any part of the world. I think it's uh, $20, so it's very affordable. Uh, usually you would have to fly out somewhere, but it will be online. So uh, please uh, sign up if you're interested. Uh, Yasu, do you have anything you would like to share? Uh, a link, event, anything? Um, oh, uh, I know Zoom is a, a, a you know a common platform now. So the the virtual background that I'm using now we have it free uh, from you can download free uh, from our website. So if you're interested, uh, uh, just. Uh, accessaxospace.com and uh, get your free uh, virtual, virtual uh, background. Uh, you can choose the images uh, uh, from our real satellite. So. That sounds <clears throat> great. Yeah. Is this it? Uh, I posted, I'm, I just posted it on in the comment section. Is it the wallpaper download? Is this it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Uh, so you can uh, check out Axel Space's uh, website as well as their free wallpaper that you could use and uh, the wonderful one that Yasu has in his background. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and uh, I just want to reiterate uh, that uh, I, I'm 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 very open uh, to uh, uh, talk to anyone who's interested in uh, discussing more about Axel Space or or your career, uh, for that matter, and. Uh, uh, so uh, don't be afraid to uh, reach me uh, from LinkedIn and uh, we can uh, chat further. All right. Um, so we would like to wrap up our session. Uh, thank you, Yasu, for your time. And uh, thank you all viewers for uh, being here. And I hope I have a great day and uh, at Astra. Okay. All right. Thank you, Yasu. Sam.